What's up, everybody? Gregory here from Punch Bag Skunk Boxing Media Incorporated. Yeah, we're gonna uh, you, you guys are gonna get a uh, you guys are gonna, uh, gonna get a sneak peek at the new uh, uh, Smash and Reality Show, uh, Vito and Maria. Uh, it's kind of uh, it's a, a reality show about uh, the, the wonderful life of the former uh, uh, world middleweight boxing champion and legendary Vito Inferno and his actress uh, niece uh, Maria Tomasetti. Uh, 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 yeah, we're gonna, you guys get a sneak peek shortly uh, of this uh, of the reality show. Gonna be gonna be uh, premiering soon, but we're giving you an inside uh, inside look at at the, at the uh, brand new reality series uh, uh, Vito and Maria. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just it's gonna be awesome. Just just a, 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 a show showing the, uh, how how uh, the great uh, middleweight champion uh, Vito Anafermo, uh is uh, uh, his opinions on things and and uh, just uh, gives you a, a little inside look into the life of a former legendary uh, world middleweight boxing champion. So uh, with that said, you guys uh, just, just enjoy the uh, enjoy the uh, sneak peek. All right. Punch a bag, skunk, boxing media, or uh, in incorporated world premiere. There's Greg here. Peace. Oh, you know, I rather admit that because he, you know, I never got over him. That's why well. <laughs> no. I want to so. Yeah. <laughs> I it's wish not, I could be, you know what, I wish some night that me and a dog a holiday. Oh, who, who said it again? I said I wish I meet Minter some night in a dog holiday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. He, he, somebody told me he got a pretty big jab, Vito. He's got a big jab? Yeah, he got a nice jab, I heard. Nah, nah, he can stick up, but you know what? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Hey, hey Greg, I found pictures of Vito. This is the first time if it wasn't the oh. referee not the right. time I wasn't I wasn't ready for him. Oh, you wasn't ready for the first time. How many times you fight this? No, the Vito? first time I, if it wasn't for the referee, I would knock him out. The second time I wasn't ready, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you wasn't prepared? I was just too too uh, emotional. Uh, it was a lot of things in my head, you know. Yeah. I was really the worst. It was the, my worst, uh, 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 I say, uh, the worst way I went into a fight was for that fight. The That's worst okay. Way. It happened. It's not okay. Hey, was that the second fight or the first fight, Vito? No, the first fight I was okay and I beat him. But what happened is with the referee that, you remember what the referee did? I remember he did something flaky. I remember that. Yeah, maybe you kept breaking up every time I went in because my my way of fighting right. was to stay on top of the guy. Yeah, That's how yeah. Was it, to stay on top of him. So he kept breaking it up. So he kept, he... With, the, with, with the south course, I got a good boxer. Yeah. And I wasn't really that great of a boxer. I was a slugger. So right. my way to beat him was to stay on top of him. But the referee right. kept breaking up. Yeah, he wants the referee. The referee wanted him to get a to give him the advantage by keep breaking it up so you can't go get back on him. I, I couldn't get my, you know, I couldn't get going. Every, yeah. he, every second kept breaking up, break, break. Yeah, that's break. some bull, that's some bull crap, Vito. That's some bull crap. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, yeah, because some of these guys they do that. They let the guy they keep breaking up. When you get him on the ropes, I beat them up. They break it up so you got to try them again. They knew my style, you know? Yeah. And then, and that's how they, you know, they beat me. The second time, unfortunately, uh, I was caught before I went into the fight. Oh, I, I should have canceled the fight. The second time, I should have how long, how long, how, how long, how long did you train for that second fight? Oh, I trained, well, I didn't stop training. After I lost to him, yeah. right? Yeah. And like Vegas, man, I was in the gym every day after that. Oh. My man, Oh, guess what? Oh, like two weeks later, my man said, oh, guess what? We're going to get a rematch. Oh, yeah? The next the next thing I did was he said that I went to the gym. It was 9 o'clock at night. I went to the gym. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they were close to the gym, and I was at the gym trying to train. But I was so anxious. You know, when you're young, yeah, yeah. 25 years old, yeah. I had no 
you know, I, I was all full of uh, salt and pepper, you know? Yeah, like nine o'clock at night. That's some weird gym hours, man. Yeah, so you I went to the gym. You know, I was like, uh, uh, plus, I, you know, mentally, I just overtrained for a fight, too, because I was so mad. You know, I, you know, and plus, really, I, I really didn't know. I really didn't have that good of a train to see them. Yeah, yeah. Would you mad if because I, you went to this? If thing? I had my life again, I would have done with completely different people. You wanted to get a different idea, Uncle? A lot of different. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Oh, so, so, and was he hard to reach? Like, he was kind of taller than you, right, Vito? He was, he, was, he was a little taller than you, wasn't he? Well, uh, really, you know, well, that matter, you know, I've been South Force too, but, but I beat guys that they were a lot, lot taller than him. I beat a guy that he, he became world champion after I beat him by the name, um, uh, oh, he was the uh, European champion when I beat him from, uh, from um, uh, Germany, uh, Berlin. Um, oh, man, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, man, old, uh, old white guy from Berlin. He was a junior middleweight champion of the world. Junior middleweight champion. Beat their lives for me. Berlin, Germany? Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Olai Chauvin. Oh, oh. No, Olai Chauvin from the Bahamas. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, he was a tall fighter too? Eckhart, Eckhart, Eckhart Daggy. Daggy or Daggy. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, how was that fight, Vito? How was that fight? When I beat him, yeah. I went 50 rounds in Germany. Oh, you went to his backyard. One judge, one judge gave him only two rounds. I went 15 rounds I went. Nice. One judge only gave him two rounds. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, the guy was big. He was, he was six foot one. Wow, he was tall. He was tall. He was tall as me. I'm six five. He was tall as me. Wow, you're tall. Well, I'm six five. One. But you know, believe it or not, if you ever meet Jerry Cooney, listen to me. I was with him listen. last year. You know Jerry Cooney, right? I, I don't know him personally, but I was at the same function with him last year. Okay, you know he's bigger than you, you know that. Right? Oh yeah, he's taller than me. He's he's five, five, he's six, yeah, yeah. Ask him when he boxed me in the gym. Not once, many times. Really? Wow. When I did that. Now that's breaking news. I never knew that. How are you spot with that? Have you my feet? And if you, whenever you see him, call me. I, 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 I want him to. I want to hear him say in front of me what I used to do to him. <laughs> hey, Vito, you know what I want to do? I'm going to get him on the show with you. And you guys can talk about it. Okay, I wanna, yeah. I'm going yeah, yeah. to get him. And I I would love to. I would love that guy. <laughs> I'm going to get it. That'd be a great show. That'd be season two of the Vito and Maria uh, 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 reality show. I'm going to get you, 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 and, you and Jerry Cooney together. Let you guys have Jerry's a good call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think you guys did. I love, I love to, uh, hey, 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 <laughs> you. Nice. Right, he's a great guy. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, I mean, listen, in the gym, Jerry Cooney, I never saw looking bad. Oh, yeah? He's not, not all the heavy heavyweight time. So when I used to box him, he would hit me harder. I got bad. He's a heavyweight for crying out loud. I boxed him. Then, but for some reason, my man saw me. Listen, I never want to see you box with him ever again, you know? Wow. One day, you know, I, but whenever one man was around, I would box with him. Yeah. One Saturday afternoon, and his son wasn't there. Yeah. And, and it was only me and him and my train in the gym, and his train, Victor Valley. Oh, so Victor Valley, yeah. This Victor was just before, just before I went for the title, when I fought Hugo Corrin in Italy. Yeah, yeah. I was the night. And I was in the gym Saturday afternoon. It was only me and him. And yeah. I, and then, you know, we, we shared a box. Uh, Jerry says to me, really, you want a box? This was like a couple of years after I last boxed with him. You yeah. follow me with the thing? Yeah, yeah, hold up on one. That's uh, you know, one of our guests calling up. Uh, hey, uh, Richard, uh, 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 got Vito on, 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 on the mean. Are you are you coming on or? I sent you. I... No, I sent you the link to email. Did you send you? 
I got I already sent it to you. I already got the email. I already sent it. Check the email. Oh, you're killing me, Richie. You're killing me. All right, give me, give, give me the, uh, give me, send me the email and I'll text it to you real quick. While we're right live right now, I got Vito and Maria on uh, live right now. All right, just send me the email and I'll, I'll, I'll send the invite right now. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Send, text me the email and I'll send the invite right now. Are you at your computer? I need to go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So just uh, text me the email now, and I'll get you. I'll, I'll send it right away. All right, all right bye. Hey, sorry about that, guys. That's uh, the, uh, the cut man, Richard Swartz. You know Richard Swartz, right, Vito? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I, I think he might have worked with me once. I, I don't remember. I think he said he did, because when we was in Atlantic City, he said, remember we seen you in the hallway? We was walking through the hotel in Atlantic City just a couple of weeks ago, and we ran into you in the hallway. And uh, right. uh, we took a couple of pictures, and uh, I think he said yeah, he, worked, yeah. he worked with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I, yeah, I know Richard, yeah. Yeah, he... he once, once. He worked at your corner once? Yeah, for cuts. Oh. All right, one I, second. I, I, I'm going gonna, gonna to send him the invite right now. One second. All right, can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Bless you. Thank you. I'll be right back, guys. All right. <laughs> Too many punches in the head over here. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> And that's not me, don't, that's him. That's don't him. remind me. I said, don't remind me. <laughs> hey, hey, Vito, that, that's uh, Richard. He sent me the wrong email twice. What is he thinking about? Oh, I'm not, we're getting ready to roast fight. him. Huh? What's the fire retreat? He was, uh, he's a cut man. Oh, cut man. I'm saying, was he a fighter? He must got hit. No, nah, no, nah, he was a he was a school teacher, but ironically. Oh, maybe yeah. Well, listen, yeah, that's one. He'll be here in a minute. I, I use for myself because I, you know, I, let me tell you something. Since I was a kid, even before I became a fighter, yeah, I get things. You know, I, it's my normal way. It's not just because of the punches I took that I forget things. Yeah, it's just the way I am. I'm not. I'm you know. I don't really like sometimes pay attention. I'm the same way, you know. Yeah. Yo, what do you think about remember things? You know what is? The attention costs a lot of money for me, so I don't pay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what trouble I have in my life. <laughs> hey, what do you think about them putting the uh, the fight from 15 rounds that you guys used to fight 15 rounds, and they put them down to 12 rounds? What do you think of that? Well. You know, I for me it would be no good because you know I just get bad at the end. But they they uh, they short they short change the public. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. They short change the public. I want to see 15 rounds. Exactly. Where it was where they a matter of fact where they started in the early uh, in the early in the early centuries. It was like, you know, they used to go 20, 15, some yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to get the last few rounds, you know? Yeah. That's okay if I can watch them fight. That's why he used to come on strong. Yeah, you, that's when you used to come on and get the guys later in the fight. These guys right. run around, run around all early. No, I don't like 12 rounds. Yeah, and they, they, back in the day, they used to fight. Yeah. Well, rounds, I'll make a comeback tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you know, these guys are not in the shape you guys have been, you know. They wasn't in the kind of shape no. you guys had to get in, right? Yeah, well, especially me, you know, I, I, I was always in shape, always. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I did bad in my life is that I went out with women more than I should. Yeah. And I was married, too, you know. And, yeah. you know, I did a bit. But when, you know, like a month before the fight, you could not touch me away from the ring, away from running. And, you know, the month before the fight, really, I was, you know, strictly business. Yeah.